Mid-surfacing is another useful tool for um, shell modelling and this allows us to extract a surface body that is midway between the existing faces uh, of a pre-existing solid body. And we can do that in, in two different ways, as a manual and automatic um, approach. But if we look at the geometry on the right hand side, this solid body, we can see this pipe which has a thickness and we can create surface bodies based on the inner and outer surfaces um, in order to create a new um, surface body. So that can then be a simpler way of representing um, the, um, the original pipe section um, without the, the detail of the um, thickness of the pipe being explicitly modelled. Okay, so there are two different ways of defining the, um, the, mid, the mid surfacing approach. Um, either a manual approach, which um, operates only on user specified base pairs, or we can apply an automatic approach where it tries to automatically define the face pairs to be used for the mid surfacing. Now, when we create a mid surface from tools and mid surface, we will see some detail options appear on the bottom left hand side of the design modeler screen. Um, and this allows us to edit um, some of the um, tolerances and also select base pairs where needed depending on the um, selection method in question. And we'll, we'll see some of that in the following slides. So here we can see um, the manual approach um, firstly. Uh, so what we do is we um, select the mid-surfacing option and set the selection method to manual. We then progress through the model selecting the um, pairs of faces, um, one pair at a time, um, um, to be used in order for definition of for mid surfacing. The order of selection determines the normal direction, so you have to be careful uh, in terms of the order in which you select the, um, the, fa the faces for, for mid surfacing. So the first surface that's picked is in purple, as shown in the example at the bottom of the screen here. And the subsequent second um, face that's chosen for that face pair is shown in pink here. So we can see a set here of um, purple and pink faces. Um, and once we um, finalize the selection of the pairs for mid-surfacing, the display is shown in uh, dark and light blue colors as shown on the right-hand side of the screen. It's possible that we can select multiple face pairs for a single operation. Um, but they must be selected as opposing pairs. So we can see on the right hand side here the order of selection um, that, that's, that's needed in order to correctly define the mid surfacing. The correct order um, can be as shown in the image on the right hand side um, and adjacent pairs will be grouped together if they with, are within or fall within the um, thickness tolerance. And this is shown at the bottom of the screen here. And we can edit the tolerances associated with the details of the mid-surfacing um, as shown in the fields of the details view for, for the mid-surfacing operation. These, are, uh, these can be seen in the bottom right hand side of this slide. We can also opt for uh, an automatic um, selection method for the mid-surfacing pairs. Uh, and that brings some additional um, options or preferences for um, creation of the mid-surface. Uh, it gives us an option to search for bodies, um, to limit the search to visible bodies, selected bodies, or have all of the bodies included for mid-surfacing. And it also allows us uh, definition of minimum and maximum threshold sets for, for the search range for the face pairs as well. There are some options for trimming, which are useful. Um, and also there is an option to preserve bodies, um, which will allow you to um, preserve the pre-existing solid from which the uh, mid-surface uh, body was created. So when the search is complete and we've, we've found all of the um, pairs that we, that we need in order to create the mid-surface correctly using the um, automatic um, selection method for mid-surfacing, the mid-surface creation can then be generated by hitting F5 or clicking the generate button. And as we can see on the bottom right hand side of the screen we can go from this set of face pairs as shown here after successful selection of the face pairs into the single um, surface body as shown on the right hand side. 